Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy S10e. I was getting a message that they are trying to flash the One UI 6.1 ported ROM on Galaxy S10e but the ROM is not getting boot. It is stuck or the mobile phone is in boot loop or maybe the TWRP is not getting boot or it's not getting flash. Well, I will make tutorial video how to flash the One UI 6.1 ported ROM on the Galaxy S10e. The device that I have is the Exynos chipset. This ported ROM will work on the Exynos chipset mobile phone this ported rom will not work on the snapdragon devices so starting the tutorial video do not forget to subscribe my channel do not forget to tap the bell icon and tap the select all thank you so much the mobile phone is actually updated to the latest stock firmware one ui 4.1 Android version 12. This is the build number that you can see. The last the alphabets or digit is WC1. If the mobile phone is on oldest firmware, 1, point, uh, 1 UI 4.0 or maybe Android 11, then the 1 UI 6.1 portrait ROM will not get boot. This mobile phone is supposed to be on the latest stock firmware right now we have to unlock the bootloader so connect the internet on the mobile phone first and uh, tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven developer mode has been turned on now i will go back to my settings and uh, tap software update check the software update once by tapping the download and install okay my mobile phone is showing the software is up to date i will go back and uh, will go to accounts and backup now here i would like to inform in case if you are using samsung account then must remove the samsung account otherwise the recovery will not get flash then sync your google account once and then remove it to avoid any issues later right go to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting this swipe then go back and scroll down go through to the developer options and turn on the oem unlocking and save all the internal storage data any custom rom flashing procedure will format everything charge the mobile phone battery to like 50 to 60 or 70 percent right and now you can simply power off the mobile phone so these are the files that i have downloaded this is the Odin pack file for the g970 and uh, I, ha I have also the G975, so I have downloaded the Odin pack file, but I'm not going to use this file because this file is for the model G975. Galaxy S10e model is G970, so I will use this uh, Odin pack file on my Galaxy S10e. Now we can download the Odin pack file, ROM file, one UI 6.1, cleaner file, repartition file from the downloaded server where developer uploaded all the files. Link provided in my video description, also the password provided. When you click the link, it will ask for the password. Copy the password from a password from the description, paste over there, and you will have an access to the website download the kernel su if you want to have a root access on your mobile phone download the ordin file the play integrity fix file zygis next file let me remind you once again that the integrity fix file and the rest all the file links are provided in my video description now first of all extract the ordin file then double click to uh, open the extracted folder of the ordin double click the ordin file then click OK on this pop-up window and then on Odin, click any slot and I will go for the AP slot and I will go to my downloaded folder and I will double click to select the G970 Odin pack file. Double click to select the file and now coming back towards the mobile phone screen. The mobile phone screen must be power off. We need to boot the mobile phone into the Odin mode check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer now uh, for booting the mobile phone into Odin mode we have to press the volume down key big speed key mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume down key big speed key then connect the cable the uh, mobile phone will show warning screen release both keys we have to unlock the bootloader of this mobile phone first now press and hold the volume up key for little long so other screen will appear then release the volume up key on this screen volume up key like press the volume up key once to unlock the bootloader or if you want to cancel you can press the volume down key right i will unlock the bootloader but let me inform you one more thing like after pressing the volume up key the mobile phone will take a little time unlocking bootloader then it will auto restart as soon the mobile phone gets restart i will 
प्रेस द वॉल्यूम डाउन की एंड बिग स्पी की वंस अगेन टू बूट द मोबाइल फोन इन टू ऑड इन मोड राइट नाउ आई विल प्रेस द वॉल्यूम अप की वंस एंड नाउ आई विल प्रेस द वॉल्यूम डाउन की बिग स्पी की टू बूट द मोबाइल फोन वंस अगेन इन टू वार्निंग स्क्रीन नाउ प्रेस द वॉल्यूम अप की वंस टू बूट द मोबाइल फोन इन टू ऑड इन मोड नाउ द ऑड इन मोड स्क्रीन मज बी लाइक द के जी स्टेट मज बी चेकिंग द एफ आर पी लॉक मज बी ऑफ the oem uh, oem lock is showing off yes and uh, in a brackets you will see u which means that the boot loader is already unlocked now on the computer screen i have installed the uh, samsung usb driver already on my windows so the odin detected the mobile phone now we'll go to options and i will untick the auto reboot then we'll go back to lock and then i will click start to start flashing the recovery on the s10e okay done complete it now you can simply click reset click exit go back to downloaded folder now the mobile phone still booted into odin mode we have to boot the mobile phone into twrp for uh, booting the mobile phone into twrp from the odin mode screen we have to press all the four keys when mobile phone gets restart i will release the volume down key first when samsung logo appears then i will release the power key and a uh, few seconds later i will release the volume up key and big speak key right starting the procedure pressing all four keys at once okay releasing the volume down key first mobile phone vibrates then release the power key and just wait after this screen you can release the volume up key and the uh, big speak key okay done now the mobile phone will boot into twrp recovery and you can see that it will start uh, scripting or formatting something like that because my mobile mobile phone was on the stock firmware so that is why this thing is happening but it will restart for like twice or maybe thrice then it will auto reboot into twrp recovery so we got the recovery screen swipe to allow modification the storage must be encrypted as you can see that internal storage got appears on the computer screen but the storage is encrypted so tap y and tap format data type y e s and tap here when done can go back to main screen tab reboot then tab recovery swipe to, uh, swipe to allow modifications internal storage got appears we'll go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the repartition file first from the downloaded folder and we'll go to my internal storage and i will paste that file on the internal storage okay done coming back towards the mobile phone screen tap install select the clip repartition file and then swipe the mobile phone will take a little time then it will flash the uh, repartition file and then it will reboot automatically to twrp swipe to allow modifications then tap wipe tap format data repeat the format data procedure type y e s tap here you can see the red lines okay go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modifications the internal storage will get appears on the uh, computer screen okay we got the storage we'll go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy this time the rom file and the cleaner uh, cleaner file from the downloaded folder and we'll go back to internal storage of my mobile phone and i will paste both files on the internal storage so we got the files on the internal storage double tap to unlock the twrp screen then tap install first select the cleaner file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flushing it so the things will be like same uh, it will restart automatically to twrp recovery swipe to allow modifications now tap settings then go to third menu make the screen time out to maximum then go back and tap install then select the rom file this time by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it now the rom flashing will take a little time so we have to wait here
flashing completed now go back to main screen the do the format thing again tap wipe tap format data type y e s and tap here when done then simply tap reboot system the samsung logo will be dislocated you can see that but that does not a big problem well at least we are having one ui 6.1 ported rom with the galaxy ai feature on the galaxy s10e just ignore this thing right now wait the first boot will take a little time complete the setup screen actually my country is not listed in this provided list so i will go for the united kingdom and then tap restart and continue completing the setup screen finally i got the one ui 6.1 galaxy ai rom ported rom on the galaxy s10e well the cable is connected and will be connected in the whole procedure i will do a little change in my display okay now much better product name is galaxy s10e model number got changed because this rom is ported from the high galaxy flagship mobile phone for the galaxy s10e i got one ui 6.1 rom android 14 base band is over here and the build number is extreme rom s10 series now the google play system update if you can see it is uh, 1st january 2024 now we have to update the play system update also now for those who do not want to have a root access they can simply log in your gmail account and uh, log in your samsung account start downloading the applications from the play store and also the samsung store now those who want to have a device certified who want to have safety net pass then we need to root this rom so those who want to have device certified they need to watch the further video and follow the steps right cable is already connected we'll go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the kernel su apk file play integrity fix file zygis next file i will copy these files from the internet uh, from the downloaded folder and we'll go to my internal storage of my mobile phone and we'll paste all three files on the internal storage okay done now i can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and finally i am done from the computer now first of all connect the internet on the mobile phone internet got connected we'll go to menu then we'll open the files we'll go to internal storage tab essentials selecting the all scrolling down installing the kernel su first by tapping on it We'll give the permission and tap install done we'll go to main screen we'll go we'll go to menu then open the kernel su working done now we'll go to modules and we'll tap install we'll tap recent we'll select the galaxy s10e changing the view scrolling down installing the zygis next first tapping on it installing it when done then go back then tap install once again scroll down install the plain integrity fix file then when done then go back to main screen go to settings then go to apps and search for p l a y select the play store first scroll down tap storage tap clear data delete done go back go back uh, search again p l a then play the select the play services scroll down tap storage and tap clear data then clear all data delete done and restart the mobile phone right things done very smoothly we'll go to open the kernel su once again well things are all okay we'll go to module section and there is no red lines if you see any update then update the module now the modules are bo both are working perfect now we'll go back and uh, all things are done only one thing left we'll go to about phone we'll go to software information and google play system update later on you can uh, go here must check the connectivity internet must be connected if you tap on this uh, google play system update then it will go further it will show the updates uh, available updated ones then it will ask for the reboot 
so the the things that updating and rebooting will be like for four times or five times and after that definitely you will see the google play system will be will get updated from the first jan to july something like that i will provide the video tutorial link in my video description updating the google play system update things done very smoothly i got one ui 6.1 on my galaxy s s10e S finally thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye